I went to visit a client. I walked in. She was practically crippled. She couldn't walk. She couldn't speak. She really couldn't do anything. I had to go to doctors. I actually took my daughter there a few times because she has no family. Uh, the social workers were Simon and someone's walking. Uh, Simon and Bridget. And I got involved with her, I would say, about three or four months. First week of June, I left to deal. I came back. I saw Simon, and it was like she was a different person. She walked, worked in SBH in the front. She did everything she couldn't do now, and it's just an amazing thing how you saw a difference. Really, it was a big surprise, and she was so happy. And put a big smile on her face. And she got very, very close with my daughter. I mean, every time I brought my daughter, the room shines. <laughs> she was the happiest person. And just by visiting people like this, even if it's a two-minute visit or a three-minute visit, even if it's just flowers, a phone call, whatever it is, a volunteer and Mitchell work should come from your heart. You should do it because you want to do it. And even if it's on Fridays, just throwing flowers at the family, saying, here, here's flowers, it makes a person's day. I think, Mitch, I think doing Mitchell work is the best thing you could ever do, because when you do good, you get good back. And that's how I learned doing Mitchell work, is helping people and appreciating life. And sometimes we take life for granted, and we don't realize what we have. And it just makes you appreciate life. And it's really, it's an amazing uh, experience. And, I think anybody that does want to do volunteer work should come to SPH because you're going to learn a lot and you're going to build your life and become a better person because I did. My whole life changed from working with doing volunteer work and make a big name out of myself. I mean, I really recommend you guys just doing it for three minutes out of your time. It will make a difference in your life. So, good luck.